hello everybody i am narendra sharma and in this module of uh, 5s i will discuss about the shiketsu or standardization so starting with the learning content first i will discuss the meaning of shiketsu or standardization then uh, i will discuss the focus of standardization what are the focus of standardization and this includes visual management transparency visualizing conditions travel maps and quantification and the third section is how to practice standardization so starting with the meaning of shiketsu or standardization shiketsu or standardization is the fourth s among the 5s training series and the standardization includes first the documented data of everything and supported by the system and it eliminates the chances of doing a wrong thing so standardization includes documented data of everything supported by the system and impossible to do wrong it also includes the audit and continuous maintenance of first 3s short that means short out the necessary and unnecessary things set in order implies set the necessary things in an order for quick retrieval and shine maintain the cleanliness at workplace standardization describes a standard operating procedure for example when you put the attendance in your organization you probably use biometric attendance system so the biometric standard attendance system is uh, when you put the attendance in the biometric attendance system you need to follow a standard operating procedure and in the same way whenever you want to withdraw the money from atm atm from your account you also need to follow a standard operating procedure now come to the focus of standardization the first is visual management second is transparency third is visualizing conditions fourth is travel maps and fifth is quantification so starting with the visual management visual management is a very effective means of continuous improvement it includes standard marks icons symbols or signs for equipment procedures activities and direction to showcase in the organization or any other kind of workplace so these standard marks or icons or symbols guide the people what things are how to use the things and how to operate and which way to move so this way these marks icons symbols or signs help you to operate the things to understand the things what they are and to use the things in a standard operating procedure and which way to move with the help of these signs or the icons now the visual management system is used for production quality safety and customer services and it avoids the possibility of making mistakes with the help of visual management system there are very much less chances that you will do any kind of you will do you will make any kind of mistake color management is also a, uh, a type of visual management system color management also used for color coding and also create a more pleasant work environment so for example more and more workers opting for white and other light colored clothes why because these clothes show the dirt quickly 
and they provide a good indicator of how clean the workplace is. And this highlights the need of change the clothes. So first thing, first uh, the two things reflected by the white or light colored clothes. First, it uh, th these clothes showcase the condition of the workplace. That is how clean the workplace is, and it uh, also highlights the need of cleaning or need of cleaning the clothes. Now. We have some examples to understand the uh, visual management system. You can observe a very effective visual management system in your computer in form of variety of icons and they help you to operate the computer. So you have this, this icon is for copy. If you want to copy a document, this icon is there and if you want to paste something in a particular document this icon is for paste this icon is this scissor icon is for cut and this icon is for copy to understand the copy path then this icon showcase if you want to move something into a folder then you can use this icon or this uh, uh, this symbol and this icon is for copy to this icon is for copy to this icon is for to showcase the delete uh, something if you want to delete something then this icon help you to understand that whether the uh, thing is uh, you, you need to delete something then this will uh, this icon help you I am just using the laser point so this icon help helps you uh, to uh, to delete something and if you want to rename uh, any any folder or any document then this icon uh, help you you can press this icon and uh, first select the document or the file and press this icon to change the name of the document and if you want to uh, insert a new folder then this icon uh, helps you, uh, this icon helps to you the, to uh, add a new folder uh, on your uh, document or something uh, and at some place in your computer to adding new item this icon help you and uh, to adding uh, to easy access this icon helps you and now if you want to understand the properties of any kind of document or any ppt or word document then this icon is for properties and this icon uh, is for uh, ppt edit or history now this icon is for select all and uh, this icon uh, for uh, invert selection and if you don't want to select anything then you can press this icon to deselect all. This is for deselecting uh, all. So this way to understand the visual management system your computer is a very good example to understand the visual management system with the help of different kind of uh, icons you can operate your computer easily another example is there you can also observe a very effective visual management system at airports so different kind of icons or symbols are there at airport to understand which way to move uh, which way to move into the uh, runway or to get into the flight or uh, to get the taxi so there are so many icons available the path on which you need to move or you have to move to exit from the airport so there are so many kind of symbols at the airport to uh, to make the uh, effective visual management system now different label for visual management in a factory now we discuss about the different label for visual management factory uh, visual management system in a factory now first the lubricating oil label it indicates the type grade color of oil and where it is for now the second uh, label is equipment inspection label this label indicates the date of last and next inspection for all equipment 
Now temperature label for the heating equipment. It indicates the normal operating temperature and overheating and the identification label for equipment to understand what things are. It tells the people what things are. Then safety label is there. It reminds the people of special safety considerations. Whether you need to at a particular site or area, <coughs> if you need uh, helmet to wear the helmet or some safety belts required, then uh, this kind of uh, these kind of label help uh, help you to understand whether you need a helmet or some safety belt in a particular area. Now zone level. The zone level indicates the normal zone, danger zone with different colors. Then OK marks. It indicates the part is inspected. This OK marks put onto the some inspected parts. It indicates the part is inspected and tell the people that it is acceptable. The position mark. Position mark, the kind of position marks are footprints indicates people should stand here. Danger sign indicate the danger zone. Like the danger sign, uh, uh, most of the time danger sign is put onto the transformer, electrical transformer. So this indicate that there is some danger uh, area. Lines to indicate some lines are there to indicate where things supposed to stop like zebra crossing. Upside arrows on the boxes to indicate the where position. So upside arrows are showcase, uh, so upside arrows are always find on the boxes and uh, this upside arrows indicate the, the wear position, whether the wear is uh, uh, upright or uh, down the side, downside. This arrow showcase the position of the wear in the box. Now come to the transparency. Transparency implies nothing under the carpet. Most of the factories and offices, the tools and files put in lockers or closed shelves or under covers to be off-site. This is the general practice. Most of the time, this is general practice. Most of the time, the tools and files are put into the lockers and become off-site or put into closed shelves. And what is the impact? You generally forget where the things are available in the factories or offices. Why? Because, because out of the side means out of the mind. If you are not constantly watching the things available at the offices or in the factories, then the things becomes out of the mind that means you cannot remember the where remember where the things are available and these closed spaces are often among the most disorderly places because they are not under the constant iso now how to practice transparency make the cover transparent if you must have metal panels put inspection windows in them so that you can see what is what what is lying in the metal panels make it so that everybody can see what is stored and how good or bad things look so this way you can practice the transparency now talking about the visualizing conditions visualizing conditions imply to make a process of visualize to feel the process that it is actually working to show that the process is actually working <clears throat> for example put a little ribbon on the fans to see the breeze that actually the fan showcase uh, the breeze which it producing now plastic strips in draining pipes to see the affluent flowing you can put the plastic strips on this kind of uh, draining pipes to show that uh, the actually the the water is uh, coming out 
and on the fans you can uh, put uh, a ribbon and this showcase that actually the fan is moving and producing the, uh, the the breeze or air now balloon this kind of balloon on the factory gate or the building to visualize the the wind direction now trouble maps now talking about the trouble maps the trouble maps can show the problems of the workplace on the map you can pin to show the problems emergency exits firefighting equipment and other important locations on these trouble maps put the maps where they are visible to everyone you need to put the trouble maps at a place in the organization so that everyone can visualize these this trouble map you can also showcase the workplaces and processes that are trouble free on the trouble maps that means you cannot only show the problems or emergency gate or firefighting or on the trouble maps you can also showcase the workplace or the process that are trouble free so you can use the trouble maps for this purpose now quantification talking about the quantifications we are talking about constantly measuring the things and quantifying the results if something is not measurable then make the thing measurable so that you can quantify the results then analyze the data statistically and spot deviations before they become major headaches now the question is that how to practice standardization To practice the standardization, audit shorting at regular intervals such as weekly or monthly and thrown out, throw out the items not in use. Then audit set in order and observe the things including the new items purchased in a systematic order <coughs> or not. To observe that uh, by auditing the set in order you need to observe the things including the new items purchased in a systematic order or not. Then audit shine and observe if everything is clean to shine or not. Audit the visual management system and transparency. Audit the documented procedures. Audit the visualizing conditions. And audit the trouble maps and update it if required. So this way you can practice the standardization. Now take a quick recap on the on this uh, module of standardization. CKC or standardization includes documented data of everything, standard operating procedures, and elimination of chances of happening mistakes. It also includes audit and maintenance of sort, set in order and shine so all first three you need to audit or maintenance of the first three s of the five s among the five s to maintain standardization audit uh, visualize management system transparency visualizing conditions trouble maps and audit the documented results i hope uh, you have quite enjoyed this uh, video about the standardization if you have any question or suggestion then do write your feedback in comment box and uh, like this video and share this video among your friends and colleagues subscribe shake hand with life on youtube and press the bell icon to get notifications for future video train video uh, future training videos and if you want to download the course notes of 5s then visit www.shakehandwithlife.in then go to bookshelf to download the course notes in PDF. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.